Hi, Scorpio. This is your reading for... <laughs> I'm reading it really crazy. I'm tired. September 11th to the 17th. I'm using Rider Wait Tyrol. That's what it looks like there. Okay, shit. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what the hell is going on. I've been reading super fast, so bear with me, okay? Because I got shit to do. All right, so Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for September 11th. I almost said that's the 7th. 11th to the 17th. What's going on here? I try not to do the time periods too long because that's way too many messages to take in at one time. Uh, that's why I'm doing them so quickly and trying my best to keep them short. Okay, Scorpio. All right, let's see. All right, Scorpio. So right in the center, you have the lover's card, the sign of Gemini. Okay. I'm getting like forced entry. doesn't have to be bad. It could be like forced entry in the sense that, um, I don't know, you may be, I don't know, are you sexually involved with this person? <laughs> it's not, I mean, not in that way, not in that manner. I mean, like, I mean, if you're sexually active with this uh, Gemini energy, it feels like if you're a female, uh, it, it feels like, um, I know it's TMI, but I mean, whatever, it's, it's the body, it's the way I talk, so bear with. Uh, it may be the hymen, you know, maybe the hymen is, is has been, um, tight for a while. That may be the situation. That's why it's a forced entry into that body, into the lower half of your body, basically. Okay. And, um, it feels sexual to me. It feels very sexual in nature. It does not have to be the sign of Gemini. It could just be that you are with, you know, it feels like an intimate situation that I feel like you were either like way, you were very ready for this, whatever it is, like you just, you just like I'm like hot for somebody like you like uh, in flames, pretty much like it feels like a hot intimate situation to me. Okay, if it's not that, you may just have a, a connection, a really good connection with somebody that you really care about, relationship wise. If you're dating this, if you're dating a Gemini or you're you're dating somebody who um, maybe you haven't been intimate with this person or you, in general have not been a very intimate in a long period of time, you, you know, somebody may be hot and heavy, you know, either you or this uh, Gemini individual is hot and heavy for you, <laughs> you know, if you want to look at it that way. If not, if this is a situation, if this is a good, healthy work partnership, I have to switch off sometimes. Sometimes I always go really too deep into the same energy. So I try to uh, grasp on to a variety of different situations. So you may be in a situation where you really like where you work. <laughs> I'm just saying you may really love where you work. And I, I mean, I don't know if somebody's into sex work, you know what I mean? Or somebody may be considering that. I don't know. How many people think that you do or or somebody you know does, etc. Maybe the Gemini that does sex work and you don't know that. Orgies and, and swinging and whatever the hell it is. I don't know. Okay? Interesting. Right here in the past, you have the five of swords. Okay? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, this is crazy. Woo. Somebody, somebody wants you to like really bad. If male, female... Somebody really, like somebody, yeah, somebody really, really, I'm picking up all kinds of sexual shit. I'm sorry. I'm not saying all that. I'm not saying all that. It just feels like somebody really, they may have been trying to like fool you or play you, whatever, but they, they were doing it on purpose. People, like, to be honest, people get a really, like, the, people get a knockoff of, of really, like, making somebody upset. Like, that's their way of, like, it's so weird. Like making somebody angry makes them feel good, but in a good way, if that makes any sense. So basically, you know, if you think about, if you think about intimacy, you know, like dominatrix kind of stuff with the five of swords, it's kind of like, you know, causing somebody pain for pleasure, pain for pleasure, basically. And now it could either come through words. This, I always look at this card as social media. I feel like drowning in tears though. <laughs> so someone may be drowning in tears in the sense that uh, either you feel hurt by them, vice versa. They, But somebody wants to make something work with you. You know, it could be in a workplace environment where someone may, you know, they may be a little bit upset. If you left the workplace in the past, they may be, they may, I'm getting Aries energy. 
Aries may be, may, be, may have been upset with you for leaving a workplace environment too soon. You know, somebody was upset. You could be upset with someone for, for leaving too soon, whatever that means to you, okay? But however, you have uh, some type of reconciliation, you know, setting aside differences right here in the center, okay? So it's not bad. It just feels like you kind of like were worried. It's like being worried or being worried and, and scared and for no reason, basically, okay? Right here in the future, you have the five of cups energy here. Hmm. The future is a little sad in the sense that you there there is some kind of expectation. You know, it's kind of like you're receiving what you want. Like here, right here in the center, the lovers, you're receiving what you want, but it's not the timing is it is a little interesting. You know what I mean? It may look the timing may like something about the timing may be a little off. You know, especially like where you are in your life right now, that's why the five of cups is here. You may you may be in a situation where you are you're being intimate. It, the grief may come from a situation where you're trying to be intimate with somebody, but you don't have your own place. That may be what the grief is. Like I said, you you're happy with whatever with whatever this is, but you're not in your own setting. You know, if you're not in your own setting, you could be in a situation where you need to share offices or or share classrooms or something. And for some reason, like you're happy, you like it, but you want space, like you want your own space, whatever that means to you. OK, right here in the overview, you have the ace of wands energy. So I, I'm getting like a lot of passion. It feels it feels more like an intimate situation than it does work. You can apply the space to a workplace environment. It could be in the home. You may want more space in the home environment. You know, you, you, you know, you're trying to possibly fit, you know, where can I fit this bed? This couch is not going to fit. This place is too small. You know, if you want to look at it that way. So it feels sexual. It feels like somebody wants more space either in the house or in the workplace environment here, okay? The foundation has the king of pentacles, sign of Taurus. You may be dealing with one. You may, uh, I'm getting moving out. So this energy here might be moving out, moving in, I don't, or you're moving in, moving out. I don't know. You decide, you know, I'm getting moving out with this energy. So Taurus may be moving out or some a supervisor. This is somebody who has money. It is a king of pentacles. So it does represent somebody who has money. Somebody that has money may be moving out on you or you are that person. It could be you that's moving out and you have money because you want your own space or you want to be with this person. Okay, so in turn, you're making drastic moves with this Ace of Wands. Somebody, you making drastic moves with this. It could be a fire sign you're making drastic moves with. If this energy, this lover's energy could be you and the fire sign. You know, making making love, leaving the house together, being happy, being free. However, under the, the circumstances, the, under the circumstances are a little interesting. This is kind of like somebody losing their job and, and like they, they, a couple loses their job or their house and all of a sudden, but, they, but they're not letting that put a, they're not letting that ruin their sex life. You know what I mean? Or, or ruin their intimacy because they lost a thousand dollars or they lost uh, an apartment or whatever. So it feels like somebody is literally continuing on their life, trying to be happy like whatever the loss was, I don't feel it's, it's, it's more, if it feels like a material loss more than anything, material losses could always be, you know, you can always get that back. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do some clarification. Overs. And the five of swords, the five of cups and the ace of wands. The King of Pentacles. Okay, I have to sneeze. Do I have to sneeze? Okay. The Lovers has the Death card, which is your energy here. Okay, I'm getting... Oh, my goodness. Something is back breaking. I'm saying that this is a sexual situation that's going on here, but it's major. It's major change. This is literally, this is Scorpio you. This is Gemini. <laughs> it just looks like whatever, whatever this is, it feels, it feels very sexual to me. Okay. Just make sure, I don't know, lock the doors, close the windows, blind shades, whatever the situation is that's going on here. It's whatever, whatever this situation is, no matter 
I feel like it, no matter what is going on around you, whether backstabbing by Leo, loss of a house, whatever, there's still love here. Whatever it is, there's still love. Stinky socks or, or uh, you know, whatever it is, clothes that need to be washed. There's love that is still being made literally here. So it feels like if it's family love, you're still happy at home with your kids, your family, you know, but there's, there's a lot, I feel like, after you do whatever you do, you're gonna pick up. You're gonna pick up the pieces, basically. Here, the Five of Swords has the King of Wands, so it actually could have been a could have been a Leo energy that said or did something unscrupulous here in the past. It may have to do with telling on you, telling on something that you did. Could be sexual. You know, they may have said something, caught you doing something that you weren't supposed to do. Concentrate on going back to school. I'm hearing that. You know, someone maybe very much could be a parent that's trying to guide you in the right way, a sister or a brother that wants to look out for you, a family member, but but you're doing things or eating things you're not supposed to, basically here, okay? This card, I look at this card as fruity candy. You may be eating candy, you know, you're not supposed to eat candy. <laughs> you know, it could be a diabetic situation. You know, someone may say, be careful, don't eat these things anymore. You don't want to raise your blood sugar. Right here in the future, you have the five of cups and the seven of wands energy here. So whatever you're pushing, whatever loss this is, you, it's like I said, you're going to pick the pieces. It's going to be tough, but you're going to pick the pieces up. The ace of wands has the seven of swords energy here. You're making plans. This new beginning, I'm feeling fighting. Fighting may be going away. You know, you, you're fearing. There may be an element where whatever plans, whatever you're doing here in the house or in the workplace environment, whatever you're trying to do, make sure that people are down for that plan too. You know what I mean? So it may be a situation where you may be living with your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, and they don't agree with who you're bringing in the house, who you have in the house, who you're having sex with in the house. You know, you may be younger and this is an older person that you're dealing with here. They feel like, like I said, somebody feels like you should be focused on whatever it is other than having sex with this person. If that's what you're doing or whoever, it doesn't have to be the sign of this person, you, whatever it is that you're doing or, or eating the wrong foods or doing, basically doing behaviors that don't apply to your, whatever you're trying to get done for yourself. Like if you are in a situation where what it feels like, if you don't have your own place and you're in your sister's home or your uncle's home and you just bring and have galley vent and that's what it feels like to me, but you're not in your own situation yet or somebody's not in their own situation yet, you know, you're, you're going to get there, you know, it may take, it may be by the end of the week, you know, by the 17th, because this is until the 17th. So the 17th, there's a culmination by the 17th. Okay. What is the outcome? That's going to stop there. So this could be a work situation where somebody may be doing something in the workplace environment and and it's kind of like, you know, they're not supposed to be doing it and they're getting caught by somebody, you know, whatever it is. It feels really intimate to me more than anything else. Uh, personal, in a sense, it could be family. You know what I mean? It could be family, but in turn, you're having a good time. Even with the, whatever the loss is that's around you, you're still having a good time is the feeling. You're, tr you're still trying to hold on to your sanity you know, your new job, you know, your, your love life, your job, your love life, but you may not be in your own place yet. Basically you're doing a lot of things around a situation where, you know, you still need that key. <laughs> you still need that apartment key. Okay. Or that. Okay. Or that goal. All right. Let's see what the outcome is for Scorpio. What's the outcome for Scorpio spirit? Okay, King of Cups energy, nosing about Cancer Scorpio Pisces male energy here. Okay, I'm getting that like, they're creating opposition for you. Whatever they're, they're uh, these two right here are creating opposition for you. Okay, somebody's being fake. This water sign energy is being fake with you. They've been nosing about, they've been watching you. It could be a supervisor that's watching you. This could be eating on a job at the wrong time. It could be as simple as that. You know, I'm still going to eat my shit, even though I'm not supposed to be eating it right now. This may be your boss. It could be a family situation, a private situation where this person may catch you having sex in the house or doing something in somebody else's house that they like you don't live there or they don't live with you. You know what I mean? All right, Scorpio. 
That concludes it. I can go on all day with that <laughs> for sure, especially there. I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, Scorpio, have a blessed week and take care. Bye.